what's up guys it's sunday may 10th 2020 last night i was kind of in a bind I had to rush through the process of mowing the lawn edging it so as you can see we'll do a quick walk through everything is nicely edged up with the PAS edge uh, I'm sorry edger attachment uh, PAS 225 edger attachment here You see me do it, see how fast it worked out for me. Everything looks nice and clean. Lines are straight. That's what you get when you pay up. Trimming it and uh, getting the RGS down. So I got my three ounces of cocktail mixed per one gallon of water. I managed to get it all down, but uh, by that time the sun had already set. So this morning I got up, I uh, pulled out the Time Master once again, went over the lawn one more time because I had missed a few spots with the light being down. So um, I just basically came out this morning and wanted to update on how everything was going with the St. Augustine and uh, these dead spots here. As you can see, I got 1,100 square foot lawn in the front here and then about a five, 600 you know, square foot front patch over there near the street. Um, just by first looks, you know, oh, and last time I did an update, I did not, uh, I threw down the uh, Scott's Turf lawn food and I think it was some malorganite and that was back on May 2nd or May 4th, 2020. That was back on May 4th, 2020. So that was the last update I did on my St. Augustine grass here. And uh, as you can see from May 4th to May 10th, six days later, the grass has really started to chubby up and green up um, all over. As you can see so with that being said there is some progress on that um, but I really wanted to go over and touch base on the uh, dead spots see how they're doing just to show you guys you know I know from the first video I labeled you know four spots exhibit a B C and D I'm gonna walk through each one um, and you know show you let's check it out so in this area right here um, and then to throw it back, just step back one step. Um, all these areas, if you haven't watched the other videos, were all, you know, ryegrass. Ryegrass that had infiltrated these areas of dead spots. So, you know, I went ahead and just pulled the ryegrass. I also have been like touching up, uh, spot pulling, you know, pieces of ryegrass that I might have missed, as you can see over there. And then you can see here down on the ground. Um, so there's plenty of ryegrass still in here it's just a matter of getting down on your knees and pulling it all out that way there is none to be left hopefully and that way you know that St. Augustine can really have you know free range to push into those de dead areas as the growing season goes on so exhibit A here you can see you know I'll post some before pictures of each exhibit on the from the first video I did back on I think it was May 1st or April 30th I'll check into that but um, as you can see it's starting to tighten up as I can see here and um, if you haven't watched the other videos too I, I threw down humic 12 um, well before leading up to this video what I've done 
as far as my lawn care program. I threw down, you know, crabgrass preventer, uh, morganite, humic 12, um, Scotts turf lawn, fill, uh, lawn food, another batch of morganite, and then uh, just yesterday I threw down some um, root growth stimulant. So the lawn is being fed, as you can see. So. If I missed anything, I'm sorry about that, but um, I'm just going off the top of my head right now. And all that is part of the Scott's, you know, Scott's lawn care uh, program that I've put myself on, you know, which calls for four feedings a season and also, you know, mixed and integrated with the biostimulant pack schedule, which is um, a schedule I follow that is an email that I received from, you know, LCN, the Lawn Care Nut, which is uh, Alan Hain on YouTube. And I follow that schedule. Even though I was a little bit behind, I'm caught up now. So I think, you know, the next thing on that biostimulant bio schedule is throwing down some micro green, but that's in due time. And I'm, I could be wrong though, but so. Um, and then to, also to integrate with the lawn, Scott's Lawn Care Program and um, Biostimulant Schedule, I'm also throwing down a couple of batches, a few batches of uh, Malorganite throughout the season. So as you can see, it's working out so far. Um, so back to the dead spots. I'm trying to close in these dead spots. And like I said, it's getting pretty tight. It's starting to close in a little bit. The grass is getting chubbier, um, you know, the blades of the grass are looking a lot thicker as opposed to thin, you know, and stuff like that. So as I walk through exhibit A, you can kind of see how it's coming through um, in these areas. And I'll go back and do a reverse shot here. But uh, like I said, it's coming through. Uh, this spot here, you know, dogs like to pee right here all the time, so uh, that's the worst enemy for St. Augustine to piss. But uh, anyways, uh, we move over to sprinkle. Broke. This is the constant battle I face each year. As people walk through here, they step on my sprinklers because of the tight space between that evergreen and the sidewalk right there. Um, so it's a non-stop battle with that so exhibit B here you can see how the spaces the dead spaces are starting to close up tightly too with the thickness of the blades of the grass just getting uh, larger and um, so that's exhibit B and then exhibit C over here right up leading up to this tree right here I went ahead and pulled all this ryegrass too. It's like nonstop. I can still see some in there. Um, but it is starting to close up. It is starting to close up. And then uh, obviously from the tree on to the stop sign over there, we got exhibit uh, D. It's over here, uh, ryegrass. But the spots, like I said, the more I pull, the more the Augustine, St. Augustine pushes into those dead areas. And then obviously all that ryegrass and then a mixture of weeds and some Bermuda in the street right there. And the weeds I'm dealing with are some like broadleaf weeds, dandelions, um, some clover. I'm, I'm pulling them out little by little. I don't want, I'm, I'm trying to refrain from using like any type chemicals or anything like that to kill them because I don't want to harm any of my St. Augustine good grass that's here. Um, this has always been the trouble area. Back in 2017, I did plug this area, so it is coming back slowly. It's creeping in. You can see how wide the St. Augustine is getting, like from right here to right there. St. Augustine, but it's pushing this way. Um, so, as long as I keep feeding it, pulling those weeds, I think it'll have free range just to go ahead and push to the curb, uh, which is good. 
you know and um, so those are just some of the things that I'm dealing with in the lawn for May 10th 2020 so to recap I mowed and trimmed the lawn still got a blow but um, as I back up and give you a wider shot here uh, let me go around the tree here and then we had some light areas right here of grass um, that I went ahead and just watered in really well. I think it's just a water deficiency issue. Um, and I got to work on that. As you can see here, up against the edge right here. If you see the edge right here, it's just kind of light too. So I think that's just a water issue. Right now I'm watering by hand. Just, you know, it's kind of like a, a, a serenity for me just to pull out the water hose and just work everything by hand and instead of just you know um, using the sprinkler system and I'm still watering 45 minutes each section you know what I mean give or take you know depending on because I do have this large tree here as you can see this eucalyptus tree that covers a wide margin area of the grass here and you can see all the shade it provides my lawn really good you know, I get people that come by and ask me if I want to cut down my trees, you know, and I'm like, no, I don't want to. You know, I love the shade. It keeps the house cool. Um, it keeps the lawn cool and it give or take. You know, I know people say, hey, cut down your trees. You know, it's good for your St. Augustine. But at the same time, you don't have to water those areas as much. And as you can see, all this shaded area, it still stays green. So you got to know your grass, too. You got to kind of like figure that out. Hey, if it's working, don't you know don't break it don't you know because if you get too much sun in these areas like which is over there which this area is with this area over here gets a lot of sun and I can see it dries out so this area gets shade and it stays healthy so know your grass that's what I mean um, so I don't have to basically water this area so much and more or less concentrate the water rain schedule on this side here so it works out but uh if this was a new lawn to somebody they'd have to figure that out and it'd probably take a while and it's just you know trial and error you know what i mean fixing you know what's broken in your lawn and leaving alone what works so with that being said uh, I leave the tree alone um, as I walk around here and just recap these dead spots right here. So the liquid, uh, I'm sorry, the, the root growth stimulant RGS of the next pack is down. Uh, I'll be doing the next update probably in a couple weeks just to see how you know how effective my fertilization schedule is and that's a Scott Scott's lawn care program Malorganite biostimulant pack schedule all together and uh, hopefully we can see some results so that's pretty much it for today's video uh, like I said I'm up keeping you up on my schedule and um, showing you the progress by giving you the updates, all we have to do is see and wait if it works or not. So, this is Mopar for Life saying, talk to you guys later. Peace out. Be safe out there. I'll see you on the next update as we are caught up right now for the 2020 season. I'll take some pictures, so stay tuned for those. Peace out, guys.
Phyllis. Uh huh. For two hundred and fifty dollars. Uh huh. What? Ow. Two hundred and fifty dollars for this. 